Good morning, Dan from DJ More Lofts, and today we've got another little video for you. So, we are going to install this bad boy. So, this is what's called uh, the new V Lux 3 in 1. This is the FFK F08. So, this basically means it's 1880 wide um, by 1400 tall. So, it's quite long. So, in comparison to an SK06, it's another 20, 220 mil longer. So, it's a little bit lower. Um, and we are going to install that over here. Speaking of the STO6, if you haven't seen our installer video of that one, go back and check that in our library. But today we're all about the three in one, so we're going to install it here. So we've already doubled up our trimmer that side and we've doubled up that side as well. So we're now going to cut out and basically make the trimmer opening and take out the roof area for this bad boy. So let us know in the comments if there's anything you want to see or hear about um, in any of the other future videos we're going to do. But today is all about this bad boy. So let's crack on and let's show you our first go at fitting the new 3-in-1. So, we're now opened up all the structure, so the structural opening is all done. We've done this as per our structural engineer's calcs, because um, you knew the size of the window, but obviously, typical rule of thumb is you double up each side of the rafter and double up top and bottom of the trimmers and stuff. Um, normally, the, the one down the side is normally a single, typically, but we've doubled it just because of the size of the span on this one. So this one's actually one point, um, well, just shy of 1.9 wide by 1.4 high. Um, but we've added 45 mil all the way around, uh, sorry, 45 mil on each measurement just to allow 20 odd mil around for the insulation collar all the way around. So we've got our new batten at the top ready for our clips to clip onto, folded the felt back. Um, so traditionally you would have normally stapled the felt up the side of the, the dormer, uh, sorry, dormer, what am I about? Up the side of the v -Lux. Um but now with the new um, felt collar and then also the insulation collar what that allows you to do is obviously drop everything nice and down and then you've got the proper felt collar that goes all the way around and actually tucks up under the existing there but the lads are just about to open it up so let's have a little look at the window itself I'm intrigued on this one because there's a fixed pane in the middle that i believe you have to unscrew and take out so let's have a little look see And the uh, flashings now so this one's again is the new 2000 flashing so it comes with the bdx and the bfx kit which is the felt collar by all means open her up and um, felt collar and <laughs> the felt collar and the insulation collar um, which is always been available but just a lot of people have chosen not to fit it to be honest um, it's part of their good practice um, product basically so um, but now what they've decided to do is make it standard that every flashing kit the new 2000 is becoming the new standard thousand flashing if you like um, so every time you order you should be getting a 2000 unless specifying something different um, so yeah so then we've got the felt uh, the insulation collar there that Jay will start putting together and then we'll start digging out all the flashings um, and that is the the felt apron that we'll show you in a second that we put around the perimeter this is um, the fun and games bit of just trying to put the jigsaw puzzle together and then we basically drop that in first um, drop the frame in square the frame up and then go from there so this basically helps with any condensation issues um, cold spots and cold bridging and stuff like that so it just helps make everything nice and airtight I mean we were being completely honest we were um, always basically putting foam and stuff like that, expanding foam or even insulation in there, um, which isn't correct really, because basically the idea being is if it's uh, the window can breathe and move slightly, obviously this will move ever so much. And obviously with the heat and weather and stuff, that the roof will move and contract in the summer and um, the winter months and stuff. So this is just a little bit better, basically. It's just a proper solution to it. So now we get to lift this frame up, but so on in the book, you have the option of taking out this middle pane. Now, because there is three of us here filming it, um, we're going to be able to lift it out in one. 
on this one but basically there's a few steps that you would take this section out and there's a few screw holes up this side and then there's a few screw holes if I show you so they see these little caps they basically pop out so there's six caps on the inside and then I believe there's three screws on each side as well hidden by that cover um, but because there's three of us here today we don't need to take that out um, so we're just going to lift it straight up in place which is actually probably going to help us keep it square um, which will be a little bit easier and nicer but we're going to do the two in one shortly as well in the next day or two so we'll be able to show you that coming out we'll drop it out on that one just to show you the in and outs but if you haven't seen that video already maybe go have a little look at that one so we'll lift up the sash now um, the reason we're putting the window back in is basically to make sure that the frame is nice and square before we fully fix her down so the lads are just dropping in the brackets there now we're in. Is that lock pin that on? Mind you, the handle's not on yet, is it? So then, what we're looking for is this line up here. So, you see the, the margin? So, that's pretty nice, that one. And then, on top of that, we open it. It is a bit heavy because the springs aren't engaged. We're looking for that line to be. Nice and symmetrical along the bottom, which looks pretty good as well, to be fair. Um, and that works nice. So that side I'm happy with. We'll just put this side in and just see as well. And then we can take the glass back out and then screw all down in, frame, in, in place. Very nice. flat roof dormer on the back so we're basically just going to jump up there take these tiles off get them out of the way so that we can get this um, felt collar on a little bit easier but Nathan's just screwing it in place now the brackets now oh. we know it's all square <laughs> you see one teamwork makes the dream work trust issues here though. I'm not slipping oh, no. so we've now got the felt collar. Let's get this open. So Nathan's just finished off tiling up that side and then we've just put the, the tiles on the back side now. So she is pretty much finished tiling wise. The last thing to do is to drop the, uh, the actual glass in. So, and then we'll jump inside and engage the hinges and have a little look-see. So all that's left to do now is just engage the hinges, which is as simple as lifting them up. And basically now they're engaged, the windows should work lovely. So the beauty of these windows is not only are they top hung, like, Dave's, uh, like, Dave, like Jay is demonstrating, so obviously you've got top hung, but you also have the ability to have them as centre pivots. You can open them if you wanted to, to have them as centre pivot. Jay, you take over the camera. Yes, boss. Then what you can also do is you can see these little locking mechanisms you've got here left and right. Effectively what they do is they design to sit into these little holes down here. And that gives you the ability to be able to clean the glass from the inside. So you haven't got to get up, jump out and stuff like that. I mean, most Veluxes do that already. So that's nothing new. And the only difference being is these holes are a little bit smaller and I actually prefer them. I think they look quite nice compared to uh, the slightly bigger ones on the other windows. And yeah, that is basically a three-in-one window installed by the team at DJ Moore. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear some feedback. Let us know in the comments. Um, hit that bell because we're going to be doing the two-in-one shortly. But it's going to be going in tomorrow. Um, so we're going to do a standalone video for that. But I hope you liked it. Enjoy. We'll see you again soon.